So anybody that knows me for any length of time by now pretty much knows that five is definitely one of my favorite numbers. Well, there's a couple of reasons for it. Hi, I'm Jan. I really love helping people keep some more of their own hard earned money. Could that be you? Listen, welcome to another No Frills Monday. Why is five my lucky number? Number one, it is the day I was born. I was born on the fifth of the month. Then one of the first parts that I had to sing on stage when I was a little kid was, you know, like in the 12 days of Christmas song. <laughs> anyway, so I had the fifth part of that. So five kind of stuck for me. But you know what? There's another reason why I like five. I'm also trying to aspire to hit 5,000 subscribers, hopefully one day. But that's not the most important thing. Today I want to talk about five-minute self challenges and the victories. What is it about five minutes? Okay. Like the other day I posted a video, a very easy, simple video that you can make a vegetable soup literally in five minutes or less. There's something about knowing about five minutes. Even my no frills videos generally run. The goal is to run five minutes or less to be a little bit more than a minute, but definitely less than five minutes because I respect people's time and people have the choice to listen to my shorter videos like this, or they could go on to my longer videos. Idealistically, it would be great if you could try both. Just saying, just saying, all right, enough of that. But here's the self challenge. You know, a lot of people start their day without doing something that takes definitely usually less than five minutes, if not very much less than five minutes. What is that? Making your bed. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When is the last time you made your bed right away? Now, many people do and many people don't. I don't know about you. There's just something about once the bed is made, it gives your room a sense of calmness. Looking at that sanctuary bedroom, just nice, calm, peaceful, neatly made bed. And if you do it first thing in the morning, less than five minutes, it is gone. How about like clean up? Like, for example, uh, let's say your dishes uh, after breakfast, okay? Usually, hopefully, there's not too many breakfast dishes, and more than likely, you could probably clean that up in less than five minutes. Or is there any other task that sometimes we think is insurmountable, but in reality, it's usually probably five minutes or less? Is there something, like for example, in your kitchen, is your counter at this moment in time, could it use a little bit of a wipe down or a little bit of tidying up? Only you can answer those questions. Nine out of 10 times, in most cases, these little pickups, these little tidy ups take less than five minutes. So maybe you might decide today or tomorrow, whenever, to put a timer on just for the fun of it. Even straightening up your room, if you have like a laundry basket or something you could throw things in for the moment, just go around, do a quick tidy, put those things in the laundry basket that don't belong where that are places where they don't belong and then put them back where they do belong. But at least within the five minutes, you could use your laundry basket as a quick catch all. And you will see how quickly and how much better the room looks and feels. And then you could take another five minutes to put everything back where it belongs. Just saying, just saying, even working as we go along sometimes is way less than five minutes. Hey, for the fun of it today, find something that you think is so insurmountable that in all probability might or probably take less than five minutes. That's a fun self-challenge and a great way to start this week. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate everybody's time. Don't forget, if you're interested to come back to the longer videos, come back at midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the instant coffee with Jan Show, Monday through Friday. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy your Monday.